next topic is solving quadratic equation by completing the square. Now, when are we going to use completing the square? Okay? If ever the quadratic equation doesn't have a factor. Kahit balik-balik ta rin man ang mundo, hindi mo to mapafactor. Okay? So that's the time we can use the completing the square. How to complete the square? Okay, the first step. Okay, let us try to transpose positive 2 to the right. So that will become negative 2. Okay, now, we will be adding something here on the left side. We should add also here on the right side. Kapag nilagyan mo ito ng 3, lalagyan mo rin ito ng 3. So, meaning, ang dalawa ay equal pa rin. Okay, so how to determine the last term? Okay, to determine the last term, we will get the half of the middle term. Okay, the half of 4 is 2. Then, we are going to square it. Pag sabing square, mo multiply mo sa sarili niya. 2 times 2, which is 4. So, we will add both sides by 4. Okay, still equal. Now, this is already a perfect square binomial. So, we can factor it out. Okay? So, we have the square root of x squared is x. We have the square root of 4, which is 2. Since the middle term is positive, that is positive 2. So, we have the quantity x plus 2 squared. Laging ganyan yan. Perfect square trinomial. So, if we square this one, this is the answer. Then, we will be performing the operations on the right side. Negative 2 plus 4. May utang kang 2. May pera kang 4. Meron ka pang perang 2. Positive 2. Okay, now. In order for us to remove the exponent 2, we will get the square root both sides. Okay? So, cancel lang naman yung exponent natin because we use the square root. Okay? Then, we have here the root of any positive number. Sabi ko, laging dalawa yun, Positive or negative, right? Okay. So, since 2 doesn't have a square root, retain lang natin siya. Then, we will transpose positive 2 on the right side. So, x is equal to positive or negative square root of 2 transpose minus 2. Okay? So, if we are going to separate, we have square root of 2 minus 2. That is the first root. Then, the second root is negative square root of 2 minus 2. So, these are the roots of the quadratic equation using completing the square. Okay, let us try another example. So, we have x squared plus 3x. Okay, let's leave a blank here. Transposing 5 to the right, which is equal to negative 5 plus blank. Okay, now, sabi ko, we will get the half of 3. Okay, what is the half of 3? Since wala siyang exactong half, ano? The half of this is 3 over 2. Okay? So, we will not perform it because it cannot be solved. Then, we will now get the square. So, let us apply the property. Lows of exponent. 3 squared is 9. 2 squared is 4. So, meron tayong 9 over 4. So, we added 9 over 4 on the left and on the right. So, equal pa rin yan. Okay? So, I told you, on the left side, that is a perfect square trinomial. Okay? So, x, square root ng 9 is 3, square root ng 4 is 2. Okay? Since the middle term is positive, that is positive. That is squared. Perfect lagi yan. Then, we will be performing the operations here. Okay. Negative 5. Let's put 1 as the denominator. Plus 9 over 4. Okay. Let us use the bad boy method. We multiply this. Negative 5 times 4. That is negative 20. 1 times 9. That is positive 9. All over 1 times 4. That is 4. Negative 20 plus 9, may utang kang 20, may pera kang 9, may pera ka, wala, may utang ka pa, meron. So, that is negative 11 over 4. Okay? Ayan. So, let us just try to put negative 11 over 4. Okay. Now, we have exponent of 2. Let's get the square root both sides. Okay. So, matatanggal lang yung exponent of 2. So, x plus 3 over 2 is equal to, okay, we can separate the 2, square root of negative 11, wala, so that is still the same. Square root of 4, that is 2. Okay, let us now try to transpose it here. So we have x equals square root of negative 11 over 2 minus 
3 over 2 because we transpose. Now, sabi ko nga, anong square root natin ng any number, positive or negative. So, we have to put. Since they are similar fractions, ang denominator ay the same. So, we can just put the value of x is plus or minus square root of 11 minus 3 all over 2. That is the root. Okay, so there are two roots. The other is positive. The other is negative. Let's have another example. 2x squared plus 4x plus 3 using completing the squared. So we have noticed meron na tayong coefficient ni x squared which is 2. Okay, so this time, same pa rin ang gagawin natin. 2x squared plus 4x plus blank is equal to transpose. That will become negative 3 plus blank. Okay, kanina, we get the half immediately of the middle term. But this time, since meron tayong coefficient ng first term, ilalabas muna natin ito. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1, so that is x squared. Okay, 4 divided by 2, that is positive 2x plus blank is equal to negative 3 plus blank. Okay, now, pwede na natin gamitin yung ginagawa natin kanina. Okay, get the half of the middle term, 2 half nyan ay 1. Square it, that is 1. Okay? Ngayon, si 1, hindi natin agad ilalagay doon. Bakit? Kasi since meron tayong 2. So, 2 times 1, the answer is 2. Si 2 yung ilalagay natin. Okay? Kasi meron tayong 2 doon. Pag binalik ulit natin yan dito si 2, 2 na to. Okay? So, we have to put 2 here. Now, this is a perfect square trinomial. So, we have 2 here. Kinopia ko lang. Perfect yan. Square root nito is x. Square root nun ay 1. Since positive ang middle term, Okay, so we will be using positive. Then, solving on the right side, negative 3 plus 2. May utang kang 3. May pera kang 2. Magbayad ka. So, we have negative 1. Right? Okay. So, para mabilis, since meron tayong 2 dito, we can divide both sides immediately. Okay? So, we have x plus 1. Quantity squared is equal to negative 1 over 2. Okay? So, square root natin yan. Okay. So, we get the square root. So, x plus 1, cancel lang yung square root symbol, is equal to square root of negative 1 over 2. Okay? Nasusundan ba? Now, then, ang gagawin natin is we will transpose this one. So, x is equal to square root of negative 1 over square root of 2. Transpose natin, minus 1. Right? Okay. So, we will now use the bad boy method since they are the similar fractions. So, x is equal to square root of negative 1 minus square root of 2 all over square root of 2. Okay? So, we will rationalize by multiplying by square root of 2. So, x is equal to, okay, ganito natin yan, multiplication, we have to distribute. So, square root of negative 2, okay, minus, if we are going to multiply, since that, that is the same, they are the same, so we will just copy first, okay, so, two, square root of 2 times square root of 2, the answer is 2, so we'll just put positive or negative here, then that is the answer.